Good morning, good to see all of you here. I can see that there are a few people, a few more people back today. I figure probably next week will be the day that most people are really back. What do you mean it'll be three more weeks? That's what they're saying. Three more weeks. And the reason for that? Huh? Okay. Doug. Well, Doug and Kathy's going out of town for two weeks, but he said Lynette and Ed will not be back for three weeks. They feel like it'll be that much more time before they get well. Yes. <clears throat> so, um, then we won't see everybody back next week. <clears throat> but it's good, to, it's good to see, can you hear me now? It's good to see uh, all of you here that, that are here. Uh, we're so happy to have Carmen back. Uh, and I know everyone has been uh, praying for her. And, uh, and I know that God has answered those prayers, and I think He uh, spoke to her in a very special way this morning as to why she's here. Uh, and so we're thankful for that. I don't know what happened. Don't know what happened? I'm, I'm not on yet? Well, you're on. You ain't on. Quit. Went off? How about now? No. No. Just no. speak out and use your outside voice. Yeah. That would be me. Now? I'll talk. No? Okay. okay. I don't know. Where I'm Thank you. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can talk loud. <laughs> this thing may, if he gets it on and I'm talking loud, you may get a real wake up call. But, uh, we are thankful to have Sherman back. We're thankful to have so many uh, back that have been sick. And uh, Mike uh, is back. We're thankful to have him back. He was hospitalized for a week. And we just heard the report on Ed and Lynette. They're better, but they're going to take a little more time to get well. Doug and Kathy are well enough to go out of town. So uh, they're, they're doing better. And uh, I think that much, pretty much covers everyone. Uh, that was uh, still lingering with a problem with this. Uh, everybody, one else. Everyone else is pretty much healed up. There we go. It's pretty much healed up and uh, getting back to normal, and we're thankful for that. But we have some special requests that we need to mention this morning. Belita uh, talked to Corn Cobb. Arnold's talked to Corn Cobb, but Belita talked to him. Uh, he, was it yesterday morning and then a couple of hours after uh, talking to him he had some issues come back up and he had to go back to the hospital now Arnold has talked to him and um, would you give us a little bit of a report he was having numbness in his left hand fingers and his vision was blurry and just as we got done praying they were coming in to take him in to do a CAT scan on the brain again so I haven't got any update. I asked him, asked him about giving, having his son call, but yeah. I'm sure he probably didn't get, remember yeah. that. So he's most likely in the hospital he's now. He's in the hospital right now, yeah. <clears throat> so we need to, to remember him uh, in prayer. And uh, Bonnie and, and Stitch have a special prayer need. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, that I would really appreciate you praying for them. It is something very important to them, and, and they, uh, they need prayer uh, concerning that. And um, I know that um, Heidi uh, has some prayer concerns. I will not also mention, but she has some some things that need to be worked out uh, that she's concerned about. Went out again. No, you're out again. Yeah. So uh, pray about these things. And, uh, and remember them during the week, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, get everything lined out in our church and be back to normal with uh, everyone back in place. Uh, 
But as I said, it's great to see you here. Let me share just a few announcements, Stan. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, 12 o'clock today, we'll have a ride and drive. Uh, we're going to go to Homedale, uh, to a place out there that's supposed to be really good that Ricky and uh, Rebecca know about. So we're going to go out there this afternoon for the ride and drive, hopefully. <laughs> you don't think it's fun, do you? I think it might be. We'll find out. Should have stayed home. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Give it a shot. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. There it is. Testing. There it is. Testing. <laughs> one, two, three. Test. Okay. Okay. Ride and drive. Twelve o'clock today. Uh, we're going to Homedale. It's supposed to be a really good place to eat out there, and uh, so they are going to. Help us find it, and we'll have a good time. Hopefully, you can go with us. Now, 7 o'clock this Thursday night, we're starting back with the Bible study, uh, Genesis through Revelation. So if you'd like to be involved in that, it's going to be 23 more weeks, and uh, we'll get back to that uh, this Thursday night. 8.30 this coming Thursday morning is the men's breakfast. Now, uh, listen carefully to this. We're going to have the men's breakfast for the last time this week at LeBaron's, okay? Then we're going to move next month to LaPete's. And the reason we're making this move is because of Robert. It's all my fault. No, it's, it's a good thing. LaPete's has a gluten-free menu. And Robert is really concerned about everywhere he eats that he's going to get something that's going to make him sick. And so he will be safe eating there. Plus the fact, it was mentioned the last time we were out at LeBaron's, that they sort of are kicking us to the corner uh, like we're not very important to them. And uh, so if we're not very important to them, then we'll go somewhere else there. So we'll make that move the fall next month, but this coming Thursday, 8.30 at LeBaron's for the men's Good breakfast. Ideas. Now, 7 o'clock, Saturday, this coming Saturday, October 23rd, is the ICMS Can Dance. That's going to be at the TNT Dynamite Bar. That's at 817 East Carter Road in Nampa. Now, what I don't understand about that is this. I thought that was the place that was the that was the the restaurant beside Shallow Inn that was on Franklin. They moved. Yeah, like a year ago, right after we had the thing there last. Okay. Okay. So this is their new new location. Yes, the old woodshed. I believe so. Used to be the woodshed bar guy I went to high school with. The woodshed right bar. Okay, that's the TNT. That's where they went. Okay. They changed the name, but it's down if you turn it to come off on Franklin and turn it to Maverick and go. West of Carter, it's just down there about two blocks. Okay, so go out on past the shallow, go over the interstate, and then, and then no, you shouldn't have to go over the interstate. You're already well, because which way you're coming from? Yeah, it's north, it's north from the shallow down to down. Well, well, we'll, 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 we'll find it, but that's what had me confused was that name. Okay, and then eight o'clock Saturday night, October the thirtieth, is the Brothers Feed party at the Brothers Feed Clubhouse uh, in Nampa. If you uh, have any desire to go to that, have any questions about it, uh, talk to Sticks, and uh, he will fill you in on what to expect, and you know, help you figure out whether you do want to go or don't want to go, or whatever that. Bonfire with the band. Yeah. Now. Yeah, bonfire. Bonfire. they have a huge bonfire at Brother Speed. Oh, I thought it was at the can dance. <laughs> yeah, the can, the can dance is going to have a bonfire, yeah. Okay, now help me out with this, Melita. MAF has a movie. It's a documentary on MAF. It's supposed to be really good. It's going to be tomorrow night. Now, the point is this. It's, it's some kind of crazy way you get the tickets and all that kind of stuff. And I found out uh, yesterday that 
this is going to be something that can be made available to us at the church. So, would everybody like maybe to just have a night that we come together, have popcorn, meet here at the church, and watch this instead of individually trying to go through the, uh, jumping through the hoops that you have to to get tickets to go for just one sh one night showing tomorrow night? Are we all on the same page with that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good deal. We, we will make the arrangements then to get the movie for here, and we'll come here and, uh, you know, we might just get wild and crazy and have that and another movie also, you know. Stay out till 11, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's a two-hour documentary. Well, yeah. maybe we need to have that. Huh? We need to get that out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably so. Probably so. It's all this we're getting. Okay, so that that takes care of our announcements. Uh, Speak for yourself on how old we're getting. Yeah, right. Some of us are not getting old. I, you're not. Ricky's not. I, there's a couple. Young at heart. There's some over there that's not very old. Young at heart. Mark, Mark and Kelly are still children. Charmin's still a child. <laughs> Lee's the child. Oh, Belita's still a child. Good answer. I can throw this shovel away for a week at least. <laughs> okay, so that's the announcements. So we're going to have prayer and then our worship team. Uh, Colette and company is going to come up and lead us in a great time of worship. And uh, then we're going to study the Word. We're going to have a great day during that. And then we're going on the ride and drive. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon. We're going to have some good stuff to eat. And it just can't get any better. The rapture would be good. The rapture would only think it would be better. <laughs> okay. This young lady is going to lead us in prayer. <laughs> and this church. Thank you that we can come here and laugh and have great fellowship and just learn your word and worship you, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all the truth that you speak to us that guides us to do the things we do in our lives. And when we choose to follow you, how amazing you make our lives, God. Thank you. Amen. God, please just watch over everyone here and everyone that's not here that wants to be here. Heal the sick fully, and God, put that watch over our nation. Stop the, the terrible terror and bring more people on their knees towards you for the one true thing that we should drop to our knees for, Lord, and worship you and thank you. And I just thank you so much for this day and giving us all the time we have here. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Kirsten. Okay.